determined. Now moving ahead, it is hard to fathom that a woman can engage in big time alcohol brewing that has been dominated by men for centuries. Esther Ntende is a female brewer at Nile Breweries who is balancing the gender equation. The process of making beer is not an easy one. It is a long and enduring process that includes milling the grain, mash conversion, rotoring, boiling ingredients, wort separation, cooling, fermentation, maturation, filtration, carbonation and cellaring. Esther Tende is one of the few ladies perfecting alcohol blending at now Broys. She has gained access to the male-dominated sector with perfection. A graduate of industrial chemistry, Esther is a living testimony that women can make it in life once given an opportunity. For Esther, it is work and less talk with everything else following in line. I have had a dynamic, I am a dynamic person, so I have that had I've worked through different jobs that are in different professions. Say, for instance, I'm a, an industrial chemist, but I have uh, worked as a, an analytical lab analyst. I have worked in the maltings. I have worked as a costing accountant. I have worked as a packaging team leader, where it was entirely led by engineers. I was the only industrial chemist working there. And now I'm a brewing team leader, where it's basically biochemistry. And uh, it's about being dynamic. That has worked for me. It's given me a lot of experience. Esther has been in this sector for the last 13 years and is not regretting her decision. Working in a brewery is a fascinating experience. First of all, you get to do tasks which uh, are perceived to be male tasks. For instance, I have had to, to work with uh, men, with engineers, doing the same job. I have had to to brew and make beer and sit on the same table with them. So on a daily, it is a good experience challenging each other. I've come to learn that we can deliver at the same intellectual level with men. They are not superstars like we think. Now on the other hand, working with them, you must almost live like them. For instance, I have forgotten how to walk on my high heels because we have to wear these bovers while at work. It is safety first. You don't do earrings, so you forget about the beauty. Uh, we don't wear our rings, you do not paint the nails. And it's, it's more like you, you run with them like a man. So that is the experience I've had with them. Now Bro is with its penchant for safety, ensuring that workers put on all protective gear with Esther, one of the models at her workplace. Though married with three children, family issues do not affect her busy schedule. Whereas some breweries are cautious of offering sensitive tasks to women, now breweries encourages and supports female workers to fulfill their long-held dreams and progress. Sometimes you just need to be flexible and if you see that a woman is struggling juggling all the balls in her life, that you're a bit flexible in, uh, in, in working hours and, uh, and, and work together right, to, so that women can thrive in the job. As the world marks International Women's Day, ladies working in male-dominated sectors need a part on the back for the confidence and determination to trudge on rain or shine. The brewing trade, renowned for transcending generations, has had men in the lead and women holding the dirty end of the stick as barmaids. Few women, though, were employed in brewing, with the exception of labor for auxiliary functions by 19th century. However, as women like Esther break the negative usual chains of work placement bias, the processing sector deserves credit for providing equal opportunities, transcending gender barriers. Ngabo Amon, reporting for UBS TV.